In this video, let us know about the Indian politician Devraj Aras who was the 8th Chief Minister of Karnataka. Devraj Aras served two terms as Chief Minister of Karnataka, first time during 1972 to 1977 and second time during 1978 to 1980. He is also the longest serving Chief Minister of Karnataka in terms of days of tenure in his office. Talking about his personal life, he was born on 20th August 1950 to Devraj Aras and Devira Ammani in a place called Kalhalli, situated in Mysore. He belongs to Arasur community who are the distant relative of the royal Wadayar family. His primary and higher school education was done at Arasur boarding school in Mysore. And the further education was completed in Central College in Bangalore and took a BSc degree. After completing his education, he returned to his village and engaged himself in agriculture. But his innate talent of leadership did not permit him to stay in the village and brought him into the politics. He entered politics in the year 1952 by contesting in the first general election held in the country after independence and he easily won a seat and became the member of legislative assembly for 10 years. Under his leadership, his party won more than 75% of the seats. His period of administration is greatly remembered for the improvements he made for the depressed classes of Karnataka, especially backward classes and scheduled caste. In response to that time Prime Minister Indra Gandhi's scheme Garibi Hatao, Devraj Aras formed a state the cabinet dominated by technocrats and academics. His first priority was always the land reform and he had the slogan called land to the tillers under which he made efforts to have an equalized distribution of land throughout the state. Under his period, Karnataka also became the successful state in overall country to have a successful land distribution. Other schemes under his period were building a shelter for migrant workers, forgiveness of rural debts, and a plan to have an electric bulb for every house. It was under his period, a foundational plan was made to build the electronic city, which is currently the information technology hub in Bangalore. Now, let us have a look on his achievements. As previously said, he was the longest serving chief minister of Karnataka and was elected continuously from Hunsur as an MLA for 28 years. He established hostels for students belonging to backward and minority section. About 16,000 unemployed graduates were confirmed with work under stipendary scheme. The land reform scheme done by him in which tillers became the owner of the land was exemplary. Mysore districts had the highest incidence of bonded labor during that time in India and the decision of the Earth's government to abolish it was remarkable. So basically, Devraj Aras was one of the greatest social reformer the state had seen. He was the voice of the poor and stood for the cause for downtrodden in the society. He must be remembered for rescuing poor people from the clutches of the rich moneylenders. Well, that's how Devraj Aras, being the Chief Minister of Karnataka, contributed to our society and developed our state. Thank you.